back on again this video will join up with the other two short ones I'm on this lower path now and as you can see it's it's a very warm sunny day but I've got the every now and again I'm going to get little breaks from the trees uh, another reason for doing the lower path in the summer I have noticed that all the ferns have just are not, aren't here there's a big herd of cows up there look which I would have passed if I'd done a higher track big brown cows under the under there is a bull there he looked over at me then it might be a bullock no it's a bull they might all be bulls who knows they look they're going that way though but so I've just noticed the ferns no ferns I mean there's a few down here yeah, I think it's a good job I've done this track. A lot of that will be on partial zoom. Sorry about that, I keep doing it. I keep doing it, forget to unzoom. I do it all the time, really annoys me, you know, because I could do quite a big section and then suddenly I find it's on flipping zoom. Anyway, what was I saying? Now, this is the best time to to do these big hikes and you don't have and this is a good day I've chosen well I've waited for the weather um, yesterday didn't rain but it was very very windy and I don't particularly like a lot of wind um, basically it interferes with the video and if it's raining that interferes with the camera um, I had to cut a walk short even though it was still a big one last week because of rain I had completed most of it. So there we are, cows heading that way. There's more than one group, mind. Yeah, this looks so different with the ferns all cut back. I mean, I don't know if they've been cut back perhaps springtime or something. Or maybe they never grew back from after last year. But normally when I'm going along here, up here, it's all six foot fern. You don't see none of this. It's like thick greenery everywhere. Right, now we come into a view here. We're just going to zoom into a scene over there. I don't know if that's Western Hillfort or it could be Clevedon. No, that's Western Hillfort. There are the aerials on the top. I've been in there this week. West Western, right over there. Which I've got to go back to eventually, but that'll be in Alberta. I'm doing, I've got, still got quite a long walk ahead of me. I suppose I'm, I, I'm coming up to halfway now, believe it or not. It's hours. You know, it's taking me hours. But there's no pressure. There's no pressure. And, uh, I know exactly what I'm doing and I want to do it and there is time to do it and there's a weather to do it and then when I get back to Cheddar I'm going to get some fish and chips I'm really looking forward to that sitting in my van and eating them yeah it's going to be my treat I might even have a, a large sausage with it as well and then I'll sit in sit and have me dinner on a lovely summer's evening. Yeah, I mean, I look forward to be able to do this. Now, I, I can do it to a certain extent if I do bus. But with that, I've really got to get out early. Uh, and if I want to use a bus pass, you can use it before 9 o'clock at the weekends. But there's very few buses on a Sunday. Um, but Saturday you could, I could get out, I could get on a seven o'clock bus. But it's very likely that I probably will not be doing this walk. I've, I've done two big walks over here, if not three this year already. I'll be doing just smaller walks, like walking through the just the Robert Warren, doing a little bit of Longwood, the Gorge, uh, Jacob Slights. That will be smaller routes that I would do um, when, with the shorter hours and 
when I used bus. I'm hanging on to dear life to my camper van. I mean, she's getting old. I mean, I was very lucky she sailed through the MOT without a hitch this year. Nothing. She didn't have to have anything done at all. I just had to pay for the MOT. First time I've ever had that. And then, um, the thing is, once they start going wrong, everything goes wrong on them, see? Because everything was made at the same time. I mean, she'll be going on for 29 when she has her next MOT. So, you know, unless they're going to realise I've she is old and I don't really use her a lot I would but to run a vehicle these days and have internet as well is like and when you're a pensioner a single pensioner that means you haven't got a partner or anybody um, and you still got to pay the same bills as everyone else right So she is a luxury and I've been very lucky to have had her with no major problems for six years. Um, this is the sixth year. So I've been very, very lucky when she's taken me all over the country, everywhere, from Cornwall to Scotland, from Wales to Norfolk, from Kent. Cumbria, so Northumberland, Yorkshire, Lancashire, Durham, Norfolk, Suffolk, Cambridgeshire, Dorset, Cornwall, Devon, everywhere. I've been everywhere in her. I've had a really good time with my Alberta and I would do more and I am going off <coughs> In the next couple of weeks before the winter sets in I am going off for three or four days in there to do some walks I hadn't completed in, in, in Somerset or next more. I'm doing it while I can. I've got lots of alternatives lined up for when I haven't got a vehicle. I should start doing more coach trips. I should use my bus pass and train pass. And uh, I would do what I did before when I never had a vehicle for six years. Um, I just hope this government don't take my bus pass away from me. Because they're really going to hurt people a lot. They've already taken the television license away from over 75s. Um, the next thing they will, because they want to crush the people. Because they're all well, the people making these decisions are wealthy people. <sighs> anyway, over and out. Don't want to talk about that too much on a beautiful day, do I? Somebody come in on a mountain bike and a dog. I wonder if he does like that in this heat. Seems a bit, a bit cruel, really, I would have thought. Not with a lot of the streams dried up. Little foxglove hanging on there. This has turned out to be quite a long video. There's the area of outstanding beauty, all that. And it is a completely different experience without the ferns. Now I'll be entering little coombs now, little valleys where water sometimes flows, does in the winter and we've had a lot of rain lately so it might be water um, so I'll be going downhill into some cooler areas over and out